Okay, so what you need to do is you need to place this device on a MIDI track. Then you want to make sure that your MIDI input is set to no input because you're just using clips from MIDI notes from clips here to trigger those actions. So you can just create a MIDI track, insert empty MIDI clip, and then in this MIDI clip you need to set a certain note pitch. So for example, if you just want to stop the transport, you can do this via C minus two, going to the next locator would be C sharp minus two, and doing both actions would work via D minus two. And every time this note is being triggered via this MIDI clip now, the transport will stop and the locator or it will jump to the next locator if um, this locator before was the last one selected. Stop, jump to next locator, and then you're ready to hit start again when you're ready for your next tune.